와. 크으. 크으. This is the game. Hello, I'm Storyteller. I remember, so you don't have to. Well, as you know, new monster, unicorn, is just released. Yep. So, let's find out about unicorn. Yep. This is just a review, not a arena laboratory, so don't trust me too much. The first fire unicorn, Helena, uh, basic attack, tanker, basic attack, basic attack. And transform. Remove root 50% HP destroyed using Swain Flame. Swain Flame. Uh, remove one beneficial effect. Attack enemy four times. But the damage is attack base. He's a tanker. Second skill. Nature protection. Apply shield nearby team member at certain ratio. Uh -huh. Below 30%. Before that, just shield. It can remove. And passive. If shield disappear, someone increases only 5%. I think that's not that good. Of course, if many allies shield are gone at once, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe 20% at once, I don't know. Anyway, when she using first skill, she transformed, yeah, human form. Anyway, human form, uh, archer. Tanko going to be archer. Oh, interesting. Attack the enemy four times. Ah, that's why attack base. Mm, so in human form, her HP is just 50% because already destroyed. But when she using second skill again, mm, remove one harmful effect, recover destroyed HP and fire horn. So max HP as damage. Mm, critical damage. Of, oh, this is good. But I don't think she's good, yeah, because when she was a horse, you must take care about max HP. But when she transformed to the human, you must take care about attack. So, HP based dealer or attack based dealer? I don't know who she is. Well, of course, passive critical damage of 120% is awesome, yeah. Uh, but I don't know. And in human form, she only have 50% of HP, so I think she's very easy to die. Pass. Amelia, let's see. 5 mana, transform human, remove root, 30% HP destroy, 30%? Oh. Using purifying wave, purifying wave, recover HP and defense up. And 2 mana, iron horn, remove immunity and provoke. 2 mana. Oh, it's good. And removal immunity, so it can apply provoke anytime. Protection wing passive in human form. If a team member without defense up, get attacked by skill, apply defense up. It's good. And per target's first bite, damage taken down when attacked, first bite. I think it's much more better than Dark Bit Light, honestly. Ultimate? Oh, deal damage based on nearby enemies, provoke. Okay, oh, fire ultimate. Continuous recovery shield. Enemy target 4 times, remove 2 beneficial effect. Yeah, okay. And transform. Basic attack, yeah. Oh, she's still so, uh, supporter. Ah, uh, tanker going to be supporter, okay. Recover HP of allies, nearby defense of, okay. 5 mana. And 3 mana cost, yeah. Return to horse. Provoke and max HP damage and bless the wing. Her passive take less damage from provoked enemies increases the recovery given. Ah, this is very good, I think, because when water unicorn using first skill, enemy have provoke and transform the human form getting hit by provoked enemy, but there is passive. Damage taken down, so I think her survivability is much more better than fire tribute. And when using purifying wave and ultimate purifying wave, immunity. That's why her first skill is 5 mana. Recover HP, depends up, and immunity. Well, there is no removal harmful effect of allies, but I think hybrid, yeah, not bad. And wind unicorn, uh, Diana, let's see. 
Page attack? Yeah, page attack. Human, transform human form. Remove root, destroy the HP 50% and inevitable wound. Attack enemy wide area to time. Apply defense down, last hit, unrecoverable. Defense down and unrecoverable, that's very critical in Brawl Arena of course. Second skill, nature's protection, apply shield. But HP is below 30%, that condition, it's very hard to kill your allies HP. Hmm, passive, messenger of the wind. If the team member shield disappear, decreases target uh, harmful effect duration. Hmm. So when I have shield and it's gone, then other harmful effect decreases 5 seconds. Not bad, especially when I thinking getting root by Light Monkey King. 5 seconds, not bad. Ultimate, uh, okay, shield and continuous recovery. So transform, she became to mage. Wow. This is the game. Anyway, basic attack, yeah, basic attack. First skill, wide area, defense down and unrecoverable. If enemy doesn't have immunity, she will be very critical. Yep. And second skill, uh, transform. Yeah. And transform, apply shield and damage. Okay, passive. Critical damage up and increases attack per 6.7% per destroyed HP. So I should not using trace of wave set, isn't it? Of course, when she transforms, she destroyed 50% of HP herself, but I think she can be die very easily, yeah. But if she survive, she can deal awesome damage, like a light dragon knight laboratory. Okay, interesting. Ultimate, yeah, depends down and unrecoverable. Light attribute. Elenoir? Elenoir? Anyway, basic attack, yeah, basic attack, tanker. Uh, transform, 4 mana cost. Remove root, 30%, just 30%. And purifying light, recover HP and damage taken down. Ooh, it's good. And second skill, okay, same with water attribute. Remove immunity and provoke. Max HP proportional damage. And radiant body, what's this? If a team member without damage taken down, get a skill, apply damage taken, wow! And upon getting hit, apply bleed attacker certain chance, and decreases damage based on attacker's bleed, wow! So it has taunt, and getting attack, bleed, of course bleed is not threatening, but damage taken down, and also apply damage taken down too. Ooh, ultimate. Deal damage, nearby enemy, provoke, okay. So, 30% destroyed. Uh, transform. <laughs> Recover HP of allies and apply damage taken down. Good. And transform. Mm, deal damage and provoke, okay. Uh, it's the same mechanism. And let's see. Passive, take less damage from provoked enemy, increases apply additional critical resist up when using purifying Oh Critical resist up plus damage taken down. That's very annoying, yeah. Of course she don't have remove harmful effect, but oh, critical resist up and damage taken down. Interesting. Oh. And dark attribute, Alexandra. Oh let's see. Phase attack, yeah. First skill, uh, transform. Destroy HP 50% and moonlight flash. Remove two beneficial effect and block harmful effect removal. Good, yeah. Second skill, nature's protection. Apply shield, excluding eh? excluding itself, and recover ah recover recover its HP. So apply shield to ally and heal himself. And passive, other side of moon, reflect a potion damage taken to nearby enemy. Okay, reflect is always good. And ultimate, shield heal, okay. Oh wait, it doesn't have provoke. It doesn't have provoke. Then there's no reason to hit dark unicorn. 
Anyway, try small. Ah, mage. Okay. Uh, remove two beneficial effect and block harmful effect removal in the wide area. That's critical. And transform. Using dark horn. HP based damage. So. But how can I setting her? Think about horse mode. I need to focus to max HP. But transform, it's a pure dealer. So. Which state I should focus? HP or attack? Passive. Mm. Maybe this is why some unicorn have uh, increases attack based on destroyed HP and critical damage up. Because you need to setting HP and attack, it means yeah, it may be not bad when it's a horse mode, but when it transfer, the attack is so low. That's why I think that's why come to skip then to this passive. Yeah, dark and fire. So in my opinion. Fire, I don't think it's good, yeah. Even though she have a passive to increase his attack per um, destroyed HP. <laughs> the biggest problem, now I'm using Trace of Wave set, so <laughs> I think I cannot using Fire and Dark. And Water Unicorn, even Transfer, she is a supporter, so... I think it's very easy to making stat and also tanker good supporter good hmm I think she is a good supporter yeah immunity and win the unicorn I summon her because of this defense down and unrecoverable that can be very threatening in wide area maybe I should change my trace of wave set but if I change my Myth accessory to other things, I'm gonna using her, yeah. So conclusion, in my personal opinion, I think fire and uh, water, best choice. Wind, I think it's very hard to use, but anyway, yeah. And dark, remove two beneficial effect and apply blue harmful effect remover. That's critical, but I think dark unicorn can die very easily because when it's a unicorn mode, just don't try to hit it, yeah. And when transform, just kill it, yeah. Just 50% of HP. If she recover her destroyed HP with the trace of wave set, then her damage is lowered, yeah. So I think dark is not look so good, yeah. And light unicorn, I think it's very annoying, yeah. Critical resist up plus damage taken down. I think it's almost the same annoying level uh, with the Dark Mermaid, in my opinion. Water and Light looks very good, yeah. So I hope this video helped you guys and take a long look, bye!